In part one and two of this video, I showed you helpful tips on how to construct and color code shapes. Now it is time to connect shapes to show family structure and relationships. Start by constructing the structure of the family who lives in the house with your index person. To connect shapes, use the line or connector tools in the Home tab under Tools. The line is useful for straight lines between couples. Whenever possible, be sure to snap the line to the connection points on each shape. That way, when you move the shape, the line will stay attached. If you are having a difficult time connecting points, it may help to zoom in. Lines between couples signify a relationship. Where possible, keep them straight. It may be necessary to use the connector tool or even a freeform line in some situations. Use the freeform line only when you cannot use a different line type. Once the line is formed, you can set its type and weight in the format shape menu. A solid line is typically used for a lover. The marriage date or common law date is written above with an M or CL beside it. Add these dates with a text box. Use the green dynamic grid to ensure consistent placement and spacing. These lines can be easily changed to a dash type under the format shape menu on the right or in the shape styles group under the home tab to signify different types of relationships. A dotted line can be used for an affair. Engagements may be signified with a dashed line. Casual or short term dating is signified with a line that has a pattern of dots and dashes. Ensure that any lines you need are indicated in your legend. A separation is signified with one slash through the line. The letter S and the date are included above. A divorce is signified with a double slash. The letter D and the date are included above. Once you create one slash, I recommend using copy paste for all others to ensure consistency. For the divorce symbol, I make one slash, then copy and paste the next one and move it to the appropriate place using the arrow keys. If needed, these symbols can be rotated for lines that are not horizontal. A reconciliation after separation is signified with an X. I use one of the separation lines, then take a second one and readjust it to ensure consistency. You may find a temporary square or the grid helpful in lining it up. List all appropriate dates. If the event is recent, you can indicate the number of months. You can also use lengths of time instead of years if it helps with communication. Again, be consistent. If an individual has had multiple relationships, it is helpful to number them. Use a small square with a number in the bottom left of a shape. You can make the shape fill transparent to ensure smooth lines. I like to start with the index person and any relationships they have had, particularly persons that the individual has been married to or has produced children with. Children branch off the line between their parents. Children should be ordered in their birth order as much as possible. The oldest child goes on the far left with the youngest on the right. Where possible, I try to keep spacing consistent between the children and have the branching off line between parents in the middle. It is sometimes helpful to indicate the year of birth above the shape. Justified left. A triangle signifies an abortion or miscarriage. The year should be provided below. If known, indicate the sex of the baby. I like the connector tool for joining siblings. If an arrow appears, you can easily remove it by selecting it with the pointer tool and adjusting the line settings. You can leave all the arrows in and remove them all at once later to speed up the process. If there is a sperm donor, use a small box, connect it to the line between the parents and connect the child to the line that the sperm donor is on. An adoption is signified with a double slash above the child's shape. Do not put it between the parents so it does not get confused with the divorce symbol. Pets can be signified with a diamond. I simply make a smaller square and rotate it. Wherever possible, non-connected lines should not cross. In this example, it was not possible to avoid the lines crossing. Therefore, one of the non-connected lines needs to hop over the other. Inside Visio on the Design tab, click the Page Setup dialog box launcher. Under the Layout and Routing tab and under Line Jumps, you can select which line you want to do the hopping and select the style of hop. I found that line jumps only worked with connectors. To make my connector jump the freeform line I drew, I put a small connector above the freeform line and hid it by making sure it was directly above the freeform line. Circle or use a shaded shape around households. If you cannot use a symmetrical shape from the menu on the left, use the freeform tool under the drop down menu in the tools group under the home tab. You may need to try a couple of times to get this right. I just draw over the household. Once you find a shape you like, send the shape to the back 
in the Arrange group under the Home tab. When your genogram has a lot of information, I think a shaded shape is clearer than a line. I recommend waiting until near the end to circle households, as sometimes lines may want to connect to the circle instead of what you're trying to draw. The shape may also need to change if you need to add information, like chronic illnesses. If children spend some time in one house and some time in another house, use a dotted line to indicate the house they live in part-time. The process is the same as for circling the primary house, except that you want to change the line to be dotted or dashed and ensure it is a layer above the first circle or shape. At the end, ensure all your lines, shapes, fonts, and symbol placements look consistent. Use Control A to select everything and change all fonts or lines at once. Review each shape to ensure you have included all the relevant information. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments below if this video has been helpful and if there's anything else I can help with.